Welcome! Tonight we will be taking a look at Mars Toys Cybertech series CT001 Skiff with a cameo by CT002 Gold. So that's the Gold Bug version. And here's the packaging. So he's packaged in vehicle mode, which is cool. And you always love to see that little throwback with the window and you see the vehicle in there. Um, some product shots. Convert between warrior robot and futuristic hover vehicle. Features 28 points of articulation for intense posing action. Free rolling wheels make for glide-like motion when pushed on a hard surface. Um, cool. I got these from TF Source on the Black Friday sale. Pretty happy that I got a hold of these. Uh, well, we'll find out because I got to open them up and we'll take a look. So uh, let's get them out of the packaging. All right, so here is CT001 Skiff out of the packaging. Uh, it's pack It was, again, like I said, packaged in robot, I mean, in vehicle mode. And uh, I really love this little vehicle mode. This is really cool. And it's actually kind of got some heft to it. Uh, it also, um, it's not obvious there's a robot under there. It's got some, like, design features that make it not obvious. He's also got wheels. So he actually rolls around. He rolls around pretty good, actually. So, I mean, he's pretty cool. I do kind of wish he had, like, um, like right here you have the little guns. And I kind of wish he had, like, ports or something I could put the guns on him. But, uh, yeah. So, when you first get him out of the package. There's vehicle mode. Let's transform him. Uh, so I also just wanted to show gold bug off in vehicle mode. Before we move on. The gold does look pretty good. The gold, uh, the little bit of blue, eh, whatever. But the gold does look pretty good. It does not look nearly as good as the yellow. All right, so now we have Skiff. Um, Cybertronian Bumblebee. Uh, out of the packaging. And you'll see, like, he's got quite a bit of shoulder kibble. And if you look underneath it, it's, it's just all hollow space. He does come with two of the guns, which is kind of cool. Um... You'll notice he's just kind of flopping around in my hand a little bit. Uh, so this one and uh, another one I'll bring out in a second. Um, I don't know if it's just because these are kind of older models. Like, they're older figures. So the ball joints have been sitting in packaging for a long time. So some of the ball joints are just floppy as hell. Um, yeah, he's nose like he won't hold his arms up. But he does have a pretty good head sculpt. I can zoom in on the head sculpt. You know what would help if I zoom in on the head sculpt? Is if I also turn on the light that would show you how good the head sculpt is. There it is. Let's see if I can not focus on my own nasty fingers. He's got a nice, nice little head sculpt. He also... Where is it? Comes with... Let me get it out of the baggie. The, the skiff version comes with... An alternate head. The alternate head. Right here. Um, you do need a screw in the back of his head to replace it, I believe. Uh, so we're not going to do that on camera. But yeah, it does take a little Phillips head screw to swap that out. Um, and when I show you the gold bug version, it does not come with an extra head. For whatever reason. Um, everything else is the exact same. It's just a different color. And he doesn't come with a different head. He actually has. We'll show you, you'll see it. But he has this head uh, in the other color. So. Oh, sorry. Uh, he has ball jointed wrists. And he's got elbow bends. Uh, the kibble gets in the way everywhere. He has this uh, in and out joint right here. For transformation. Uh, and a ball jointed shoulder. But it hits everything. Ball joints on the shoulder uh, again. So you've got like a double shoulder, which I think is why he's so, I don't know, he just doesn't feel great in the hand. It is not on a ball joint in his head, so, but you can get a lot of movement out of it. Ball jointed waist, I mean, sorry, uh, waist on a swivel. You cannot force these to go any closer. You notice that, like, I'm going to break it if I keep doing it. Um, 
He doesn't, I mean, he has this section on his back, but that doesn't look bad. What looks bad, I think, or the bad implementation is just, like, how loose he is. And uh, I'll show you on Goldbug in a minute. Goldbug's way worse. Like, I opened Goldbug first, and Goldbug is a floppy-ass mess. So, it does come with this little G1-styled gun. Not bad. Um, for scale, we will put him next to Studio Series Grimlock. So, you know, he, he's he's not a bad scale. Let me see. Here's a uh, prowl. Height-wise, he is... A, I think it works. He's a little bit shorter than an average figure. He's just, he's so chunky. His joints are just garbage. Ah! I'm not even editing that out. You'll be okay. So, there he is. Let's take a look at him next to Goldbug. Alright, so here is Robot Mode. Goldbug with Robot Mode. Um, Bumblebee or Skiff and Gold. So, the problems that you saw in this one with a little bit of floppiness are way, way... It just doesn't even get tight. They are way worse on this one. Like, that is a loose-ass mess. Uh, he has that other head. But in blue... And did not come with a separate head. I don't know why. Or maybe it's just mine. So. There he is with Goldbug. And Goldbug is a mess. Um, so. Yeah. There he is with his little wave mate. So my kind of final thoughts on this figure is. I think I got him for 12 bucks. Or 10 bucks. One of them was, I, they were on sale for on TO, TF Source for Black Friday. One was 10 and one was 20. And I think he was 10 and gold was 20. And gold is floppy and doesn't come with a separate head. And he's not. And he, So the other thing I really don't like about these, and I'm going to pull this out right now, is these Mars Toys figures, uh, they don't come with instructions. They come with QR codes to give you instructions. Well, that's fine and dandy, unless, like the untrustables, the or unrustables, the uh, barcodes that they come with for the instructions go to a dead channel, and you actually can't find the official instructions anymore. Um, I bought those at the same time that I bought these, and I don't even know if I'm going to review those because. Uh, I had to just look at still photos and watch other videos to transform them, and they're not great either. They suffer some of the same issues with these loose, super, super loose ball joints. Uh, again, this one's not as bad as the other one. His feet, he doesn't even want to stand up on his feet. Um, I, I honestly, my honest opinion on these, I don't even know if I'm going to keep these. There's a place up the street that I can trade toys in now. Um, video for that coming. I've already talked to them about that. Uh, and... I might just trade these over there. Even if they give me like five bucks a piece in the box, I'll be happy. Because these are... They, they don't look bad, is the thing. So, I mean, I might keep them. I might not keep them. Um, I won't buy anything else made by Mars Toys. I don't know if Mars Toys is a thing anymore. It's probably not. But I wouldn't buy anything else from them. Like, if this is the quality. It's not that he looks bad. He's got a nice head sculpt. and he, I like the detail work and stuff, but... God damn, these ball joints suck. All the joints suck. So, there you go. This has been Mars Toys CT001 Skiff with a, a cameo by CT002 Gold, who is kind of shit too. Well, he's actually more shit than this one. So, if he's going to sit in a shelf, I might keep him. I might not. I don't know. I'm running out of room. So, there you go. So don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Good night.